Hello, welcome to another Photoshop video. Today we're going to be looking at how to increase the sun rays and the sun beams. So I've got this picture, you can find it on Wikipedia, and we're going to start by duplicating the background layer. And then we're going to change the blending mode here to screw, and you can see, see all the various different blending modes, but we're going to use screen. We're going to go to filter and blur and then radial blur. Just going to move this a little bit lower, a little bit to the right. It should be in the right spot there. Okay, now we're going to go to image adjustments levels. Kind of interesting when you use when you do this. What happens to the sun? You do want to have the sun there. Okay, so we've removed the ghosting effects. What I'm going to do as well is we're going to put some more sun rays in, and that will try and I'll try and obscure the ghosting effects. Let's go to adjustments hue saturation. Let's try and find that's a good value, I think. Okay, we've done a new layer now, and we're going to press this, which is the brush tool. Now with the brush tool, you can actually get there's actually a, a large menu that you can see, which is kind of it's kind of a pretty cool looking menu. So to do sun rays, normally uh, a splatter brush is good. Like in terms of splatter brush, I guess we'll try this one and maybe do a hundred points on it. And then I would like to see if I can remove this. So we want to like if if it's going to be the the line coming across here, right? Uh, this needs to then be. All right, this is going to be quite a serious sun ray. We'll see how it looks anyway. All right, now let's do the radial blur again, the same one that I'd used before, whatever the settings were there. I almost feel like we probably should do another one going this way as well, because it kind of looks like this should be going a bit further to the right. So we're just going to bump that back up to 100. If we go a bit to the right, it's like I was just sort of like imagining the natural kind of like if we go to maybe to this spot here. I think it's just because it keeps on looking like it's it's Yeah, I think that sort of adds a little bit more to it. Uh it makes the sun a bit more rounded. It doesn't just look like it's coming straight out of the left of this thing. I could say completely change the sky colour if you wanted. And I kinda like it that colour. Yeah, I think I think that's good. It's always a good idea at the end of these things just to go for this thing. So yeah, that it will do. So thanks for watching. 